Hi, I'm Dr. Marcy Swelling, and I'm an internist here in Southern California. I'd like to talk to you a little bit today about an ulcer. Everybody's always afraid that they have an ulcer. Oh, my tummy hurts. I think I might have an ulcer. Well, let me tell you a little bit about ulcer disease. First of all, we've had some major revelations in the last several years. There was a scientist who finally found out what the cause of an ulcer is. Now, this isn't every ulcer, but most ulcers are actually caused by a tiny little bacteria, Helicobacter pylori. And, oh my goodness, this little bug just takes over your stomach. This man, who, had, who found this out, actually swallowed the bacteria and found out that, indeed, when he swallowed the bacteria, he got an ulcer. This was totally against normal scientific uh, uh, general protocol, but just kind of as an aside. In any event, these little bacteria eat away at the mucosa. Now, let me show you what that means. You know, when you swallow food, it goes down through your esophagus and it goes into this big thing called your stomach. This is your stomach. Your stomach is lined with a lovely lining of mucosa that protects it from the acid. In the tummy, there is acid, and that's how we digest food. So it's very important that this acid not be able to eat through the stomach wall. That may happen if this mucosa is broken down. And this bacteria is what helps make that back, 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 uh, the mucosa break down. When that breaks down, the acid then eats away and you get literally a hole. That's an ulcer. It hurts. It hurts like the dickens. Now the real risk of an ulcer is if a blood vessel happens to be coming along and meet that area where the, where the mucosa is denuded, you could bleed. So the risk of ulcer and the problem with an ulcer is pain and bleeding. How do we take care of an ulcer? Very simply. You would think we repair the hole, but we don't. All we need to do is change the content of the acid. The normal pH, normal pH is seven. Seven is neither acid nor base. The higher the number, the more base. The lower the number, the more acid. The typical acidic environment in the stomach is about a pH of 2. That can burn a hole in about everything and anything. Those things that you get over the counter, we call them PPIs, proton pump inhibitors, for instance. Those will raise the pH of your stomach to 4. And just by raising the pH of the stomach, just getting rid of a little bit of the acid, it allows this hole to heal. The common products that you can buy over the counter, Prilosec, Protonics, Prevacid, Asifex, all pretty much the same. You can also get Zantac, for instance. Those products are over the counter. And Zantac is a little bit different than the others. I recommend Omeprazole or Prilosec. Easy, cheap, will indeed increase the, acid, the, the pH in your stomach and help get rid of the pain and prevent the bleeding. That's an ulcer.